folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment, that she had to go through, being d depressed, not being the champion. All that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come to. Well, the Hall of Fame night is going to come probably in the not-too-distant future, but Amanda Nunes showing no signs of slowing down. Won her title back against Juliana Pena midway through 2022, and yet another title fight for the Lioness here tonight. I'm going, John. When Amanda Nunes goes into the Hall of Fame, I'm going. Wow. I got to be in attendance. She is that special to the sport. She has elevated female fighting with her performances and her dominance. And that win over Juliana Pena showed that even in her darkest hour, she is still the best in the world. But tonight, she has another challenge ahead of her that she has to try and get through to once again add to the legacy that she has built so far ahead of anything else we have seen. Right, and most pundits believe that when Amanda Nunes is focused and in the gym, she's the best 135 or 145 pound fighter in the world. Oh, 155. Yeah, <laughs> female fighter, no, she's as right. good as anybody. And she will look to prove as much yet again here tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Arena Aldama. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Women's back and weight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. You ready? Go All right, so here we are back in London, England, as the UFC continues to make its presence felt here in the UK and has the crowd on hand as usual here tonight. When the UFC expanded, when the UFC started going all around the world and becoming a global sport, London was a target area. England was a target country because they understood how much the fans care about sport. You watch it in the football games. You Ooh. watch it. You hear that? Football. <laughs> you watch it in the way that they show up. The UFC approached this place. The UFC targeted England. We went there, and every time the fans showed up. Aldana gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Another big shot in the head. Left hand connection and a right. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands among the best of all the palms in the entire UFC. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. She's got power in both hands. Great combination. 
So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, you got to love the leg kicks, and there it is. That leg kick was nasty. Do not back up. That leg kick hurt. Well, she continues to stay busy, and no surprise, she continues to connect with these punches. She's so fast and so accurate. And also, the cardio allows her to fight at such a great pace. Push kick there to the body. This is crazy. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Nice jab there by Irene Aldana. Oh, straight punch. And she misses with the left punch there. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Nice job by her there to block that shot. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Under two minutes to go in our first round. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Oh, another beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said that was in the game plan. Let's work every part of the body. Right now, the target is the thigh. And she is attacking it effectively. Cable inches right now. Oh, shot by her there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Oh! Massive right for Nunez now! So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunez. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And finally, she gets the takedown. She stayed committed. At some point, she knew she was going to be able to get this fight in her wheelhouse on the canvas. Now let's see what she can do with it. Nunez's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. She's really accurate landing these strikes from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Ten seconds to go in the round. She is so dominant from the top position. Gotta be careful here. Aldana getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, so she does survive to see the next round, but as we show you some replays, DC, nobody's going to be kissing her on the cheek anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's a nasty cut on the cheek. She got hit with some big shots, and they really have taken an effect on her. Look at the cut on the cheek, and it was that shot right there that opened up the cut. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You got to make a decision when you get up off of your stool going to the next round that this is my fight, and I am not going to allow it to slip through my fingers. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Her leg kick is great. There it is. She got that 
kick on. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Well, she blocked that punch. Oh, nice. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Debilitating leg kicks have landed tonight. You see that left thigh starting to show signs of bruising. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh. Nice punch to the head. She throws her jab and then she sticks her chin up in the air when she jabs. She needs to keep that chin tucked when she throws that jab or kick. A lot of her technique leads to her chin flying up in the air. And she's getting caught. Oh. oh, she's hurt. She's hurt bad. Right hand over the top. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard, a lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, big elbow. So just like we saw in round one, there is her patented hook yet again. So a lot of people felt like she would have a decided striking advantage. Largely, that's how it's played out. Absolutely had a striking advantage, more specifically, throwing hooks. She doesn't loop it. Her elbow is tight. Her opposite hand is at the chin. She pivots on the front leg. She throws her entire body into that strike. That's why you see her land so many knockouts with that one specific punch. Well, the hook has been her primary weapon of choice tonight. Let's see if she sets it up again here. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Aldana's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Oh, Superman punch is good. And she misses with a hook. She did go back to it, but she is unable to land. Pretty good offense from the bottom fighter as she lands again. She's nasty on the ground. And now she's cut her, and it looks like it excites her. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Nunez gets back up, good sign for her there. Yeah, that punch was blocked. She lands the sidekick. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever. She's got to keep pressing if she wants to finish the fight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice level change. This is a terrible position. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nunes. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. Stop. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a... You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship battle.
right, so the previous two rounds pretty entertaining, DC. We'll see who has the upper hand here as this next round gets underway. Very evenly matched fight, but we knew exactly this when they were matched up. We were excited about the fight. We kind of expected this to be very even between these two talented fighters. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. Well, she told us coming in that the body strikes and the body work would be a big cornerstone of her game plan in this fight. And you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen. That absolutely tells the story. No one's going to accuse her of being a headhunter here tonight. She has worked that body to great effect. Aldana's eye starting to swell now. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. See how soon she goes to the single leg takedown, goes for it right there and gets it. I mean, when we spoke to her earlier in the week, she told us what she was going to do. Right. It's insane to watch her implement it so beautifully. Well, we're not close to a stoppage, but every time that area in the eye gets hit, it's getting bloodier by the minute. Yeah, it gets bloodier by the minute, and you start to worry because you can only take these types of shots for so long before it gets to a point where you're just in very, very big danger. Oh, man, she lands that hook again, much like she did in the previous round. Perfectly placed, finds the target, and really her work on the feet, just a byproduct of a lifetime of, of striking repetitions. There is just no wasted action. She's not looping that thing. It's not far, it's tight. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. All right, so there it is again. Her striking has been on point really from the outset, and now some definite swelling on the opposition. Some absolute swelling. She has done a great job of targeting the face, making sure that every time she throws, she lands with an intent to just advance all the swelling that we are seeing right now. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh! Oh, nice body shot. So now as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got... Oh! Oh, she might be able to get her out of there now. she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned. We see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially wrap. Especially with this. Right back. Right back. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern for both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Final seconds of the round. Great job blocking that oh, shot. God. 
All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway, and now is the time, DC, where the endurance, the cardio, and the overall skills of these women figures to be tested. Yes, both of them will be tested on the skill level. But oh! She's hurt. She's hurt bad. single leg takedown, well played. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Aldama. Right hook there by the champ. Oh, nice. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nunes. Well, she's staying busy, continuing to land ground strikes. There's another one. And right into side control. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Nice positional control here. In the half guard. And now she's in mount. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control anymore right. because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of... All right, pause in the action here, and yes, the referee will call on the doctor. Her eye is essentially swollen shut at this point. It's closed. She cannot see. She cannot find her opponent. How do you fight when you can't see out of one eye? Doctor pulls the referee aside. It looks as though the fight at least is going to continue for now. It's going to continue for right now, but she has got to get going. She will not have much time in this fight because it's only going to get worse. You ready? Go. All right, so the referee is going to get the action back underway. She didn't even want the doctor to make his way into the octagon. He has since left, and she's happy to get a chance right to fight away. on. Right away, John. Just, no, no, no. I want to fight. I'm happy she's getting that opportunity now. You got to take advantage of this chance. You got to take advantage of the chance to go out there and try to right what you think would be wrong if the fight got stopped. Well, her reactions are really starting to change now as her opponent continues to pepper the body. They're big. You can see that she's almost panicking. She doesn't want to get hit anymore. You can see the damage that she has taken to the body, so she's overcompensating for trying to defend herself. She better slow down and try to change the way that this fight's playing out. That's a really strong leg kick there by Alton. Oh, beautiful straight punch, and now her 
opponents firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Closing the distance here. Aldana Zai is now swollen shot. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Clearly, the referee keeping a close eye on the fight. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. What a turn of events here inside this arena. An absolutely crazy flush knockout, and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight. She's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that. What a performance. What a knockout. Unbelievable. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness New I mean, that was just insane. We look to our left, see the, re see the reaction from Dana White and Hunter Campbell. Amanda Nunes by knockout. Don't need no judges.